Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're gonna be doing two simple but very impressive cake decorating techniques. The first is the ombre look and then the second is gonna be the swirl texture. So let's get started. Okay, for our ombre look, we have three colors. I have a light, a medium, and just a slightly darker pink. They're all in the blush pink family. I'm going to put my cake board on top. This is how I will get my sharp edges. Okay, we just want to line it up on the sides. I'm going to go ahead and start with my darkest color on the bottom. And I'm just going to pipe just a strip around the bottom. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this a couple times. But you can also just do this with an icing spatula. Okay, I'm gonna move on to my next color. Go around two or three times, depending on how many colors you have and that you're using. I'm gonna go ahead and do my lightest color. This is also gonna be on the top of my cake. I'm gonna go right up against the cake board and cover that just a little bit. Okay, from here I'm gonna go ahead and scrape it once or twice with a clean cake scraper. Kind of see where I need to even out. I'm gonna go ahead and line up my scraper with the bottom of my cake board and the top of my cake board and just bring it around. Holding it at about a 45 degree angle so all that frosting I'm pulling away also covers up any holes. Okay, so here I can kind of see where I need to fill in. So you can use your piping bag to fill in some of those spots. You can just put some on the end of your icing spatula. But we're gonna fill in those little holes. Some areas that were a little bit uneven and then we're gonna go ahead and scrape again. Always wanna use a clean cake scraper so none of the dry frosting pulls away our clean frosting. Once you have the cake smoothed out, this is also a great point before you freeze it to do any kind of texture. And on this one, I'm gonna do a swirl around the entire cake. And I'm just gonna be using my offset icing spatula. And what I do is I hold it in place and start turning the table and eyeball when to bring it up. And I just slowly drag it up the cake every time I make a round. This does not need to be perfect. This is kind of a fun, more organic, messier swirl look. But it's also a great design in case you're having a hard time getting a really smooth side. Okay. There we go, there's my swirl. I'm gonna go ahead and freeze it. I'll cut off the top of the cake board and finish off the cake in just a few minutes. Okay, so we're gonna finish off the cake. It's been in the freezer for about 20 minutes. I'm just gonna slide my knife right under the board and just carefully just cut off that top cardboard. Just holding the back of it with my hand too, just so it doesn't pull off and pull away any frosting. Almost there, there we go. Pops off really nice. And again, we're just gonna fill in the center, even it out. First, we just take 
the side of our icing spatula. We're just gonna clean up any of the edges. Kind of drag in those little pieces that may have formed after cutting the board off. But the side of my cake now is frozen, so it's a little bit more workable. I'm not gonna damage it by touching it. And you can even do an ombre look on the top here too. Kind of a reverse look, which I think I may need to do because I'm <laughs> running out of frosting. Now I'm just bringing it to the edge of the cake so it kind of all looks like it's been one piece. Just blending it in there carefully. edge a little bit in some places that went over. I'm going to fill in a little bit more to get it a little bit more level on top. So I'll use up my frosting. swirl I just want to clean up the edges one more time I'm holding the offset palette knife just about almost parallel to the cake and just sliding it right across I'm gonna see where I kind of finished off the last one right here and just have that be the start line for the top gradually moving in the center of the cake. The harder you push on the frosting, the deeper your lines will be. All the way to the center here. And then just pull up quick. There you have it guys. The swirl technique and the ombre technique all in one. <laughs>